<clears throat> Hello everyone. How everybody doing? Yeah, another day to share my cooking with you guys. That's right. Yeah. Another good morning. So pat pat in my back. So proud of it. Yeah. Yeah, usually it's good afternoon and it's good morning today. It's 10:25, guys. Yeah. Very nice, eh? We start early again. That's right. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> excuse me. Welcome to Maria Bicolana Kitchen. Yeah, and today I am really, really excited to share with you guys a very, very old recipe that I learned in Canada. That's right. This is very famous to the Canadian, yeah. Like, um, this is a side dish that they use when they have a spare rib or when they bake spare rib or when they have a cook up for um, a steak. Like in the steakhouse, you can find this. You know what it is? Yeah. It's ham. It's gonna be a... I have a leftover ham. So I, I I was wondering oh what to do with this, you know. So I I have a beans, like pork and beans in my in my pantry. So I thought, oh that would do good with that, you know, like um this is the beans guys. This is the pork and beans, yeah. And actually this is already cooked, yeah. You can eat this already. They cook it in molasses. That's right, guys. This is this dish is very popular here. This uh, beans, yeah, in Canada because it's a side dish. They can put like I told you. You they can put uh, it beside the uh, uh, grilled steak and then coleslaw and then voila, you have a really beautiful supper. And the same with baked ribs. Um, you can put this on the side and then they can put corn, you know, corn or beans and voila, you have a really good dun supper. Anyway, guys, let's get cooking here. What I have here is one can of beans. I showed it to you guys and I have a ham in here, leftover ham. And also I have onion and garlic. Now... We're gonna, I have uh, three tablespoons of ketchup, uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and I have one tablespoon of um, uh, uh, paminta, like pepper, ground pepper, and cinnamon, yeah. And then later we're gonna put, later on while we're cooking it, I'm gonna put uh, whole pepper, and also soya sauce and ginger, uh, soya sauce and um, vinegar. That's right, guys. It's all in a pot. Yeah. Let's get started here. Yeah, guys, this is very famous here in Canada. Or I think even in, in states to this um, baked beans. Baked beans, they call it. I think I made it before already, the baked beans, but today I was wondering what to cook. So, and I did see this ham. I said, I need to cook that ham, but then it's left over and it's getting dry. So the best to do, this is part of being a good cook, guys. A being, being a good cook and a good mother is um, you have to be resourceful. Of what you have yeah because um, not, all, not all the time you're gonna be going to the store no that's that's really you know um, a waste of time yeah so you sometimes you get ideas by opening your fridge by opening your freezer by opening your pantry you get the idea there so be resourceful that's right uh, that's part of being a good cook, yeah. Anyway, guys, let's put one tablespoon of oil. <clears throat> and as you know me, uh, 
it's already cooked the ham, so I'm just gonna put the garlic, guys. I'll put the garlic. Yeah. I hope you're all doing fine, guys. Yeah. This is a very famous, very, especially summertime, baked beans. But this is not going to be a baked beans, guys. This is going to be a, a saute, <laughs> saute baked beans. Like everything is already cooked, the ham. I just wanna, this is what comes to my mind and I thought it'd be good, yeah. <clears throat> Okay hey guys, let's put the onion. Yeah, guys, how is everybody doing? Yeah, I hope you're all doing fine. Yeah, guys, it's actually, I didn't tell you the weather here because it's gloomy. Today it's gloomy, no snow, but no sun either. So, I don't know. Okay guys, let's put the ham. In goes the ham. Yeah, that, the ham here is so big, you know, and it's just my kids and me, and sometimes we get left over. guys because I tasted the ham and it's too salty but we're gonna just put everything and let's put the beans I need half a cup of water guys just to kind of So they they get collaborated everything because it's so dry. The ham is dry and the the beans. So I'm gonna put everything now, guys. Ketchup, brown sugar, brown sugar, ketchup. good that dry ham going to taste really good because of the beans with molasses cinnamon ground pepper ketchup oh it will taste good something you run to the store well some do that anyway it's 
it's nothing to them they just run to the store but to me i don't i i feel like um, it's a challenge to you when you open the fridge and you find ideas to cook and then when you open the pantry like with the other day i cooked the broccoli and cheddar it just came to my mind you know the oh that broccoli need to and the same today with the i have leftover ham in the freezer and i don't want to keep it there too long because if you keep, you can't keep it too long in the freezer because it, get, it tend to be dry out and it's wasted you can't you if it tastes dry out it's no good yeah so you have to cook um, as fast as you can what you have in your freezer and um yeah guys that's part of being a good cook is be resourceful um just um cook what you have get an idea yeah grab a brain yeah <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh i'm just being it's a it's a good morning guys we all need good vibes yeah we need good vibes and my kitchen should always flow the good vibes yeah anyway guys it is dinner i think i think it's dinner okay let's put them in a you know okay guys it is dinner That's right, guys. It looks so yummy. It looks yummy in my tummy. That's right, guys. It looks so yummy in my tummy. Yeah. It looks so yummy in my tummy. Okay, guys. Here is pork and beans. I ham with beans. Yeah. Ham with beans. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. Maria Vicolana. Thank you. Bye-bye.